Okay, everybody, it is me, Gregory Manorino. It is Sunday, February 27, 2022. Sit back and relax, people, because the freak show, well, it's getting even freakier. I know how impossible that seems, but uh, you haven't, <laughs> we haven't seen anything yet. And I think you all know that. Let's let's put a perspective on how things are evolving, at least on the, the geopolitical stage, and how this could possibly affect the market. Let's begin with this. Apparently, there is talk and even action, some, that is going to be taken against Russia and their use of the interbanking system, the global interbanking system known as SWIFT. You see, here's the situation. Uh, this, in my, in my view, what is being talked about and possibly implemented, again, with Russia and the SWIFT system or the use of it, this is just some kind of a token, frankly, dog shit thing, and it's not going to affect anything. So, what do we know? Apparently, a certain number, a certain number, we don't know, it's mysterious. <laughs> I'm laughing, I shouldn't be laughing. A certain number of Russian banks are going to be cut off from the SWIFT system. Now, let me let me tell you something real quick. Uh, Russia is going to circumvent this very, very quickly. The only way to actually, well, make any difference here would be to completely cut off Russia from the SWIFT system. This little token thing that they're doing here, the certain number, this mysterious thing, now you're going to matter. But what you can expect to happen as fallout from even this certain number, and this is, of course, well, you tell me what this is. How this is going to play out is very, very simple. You're going to see commodity prices rise. You're going to see, of course, energy prices rise. Now, uh, how many of you are surprised by that? No, I I've been explaining to you that you're going to see energy and commodity prices go much, much higher moving forward. This is all in effect. This has nothing to do, really, with Russia and Ukraine. Okay, This is about, again, destroying an entire class of people on a worldwide scale. I'm talking about the middle class. Uh, I'm talking about keeping the global economy under as much pressure as possible to allow central banks to do what? Be the lenders and buyers of last resort to continue to inflate. That's what this is all about, people. Open your eyes, okay? I know most people are fixated. They're sitting here watching the news. They want to see what's going on. No, this is really not what it seems to be at face value. Nothing is. We go from crisis to crisis to crisis, all by design, to allow the mechanism of global debt to continue to inflate on a massive scale with no end in sight. People, I have explained to you yet again for over a decade that you are going to see things moving forward that you cannot possibly believe. Things are going to be created in, 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 in incredible ways just to keep central banks inflating, inflating, and then inflating some more. Period. The end. That's how this is going to play out here. Um, we are, are really in the middle of the creation of a whole new system, a new paradigm I've explained to you since forever, a feudal system. That's it. Okay, and what you're seeing over there is just part of it. Um, I think you understand that. I've been covering this at length lately. All right, so anyway, I explained to you with regard to Russia and the SWIFT system here, this, this token move, which really had to be taken, I think, in some way. Uh, you know, so you can have like Biden, Stein, you know, President Retard and other world leaders say, oh, look, we're really trying to do something. We have sanctions in place. You see how well they're working out. And now we're going to, you know, take a certain number 
of Russian banks, and we're going to cut them off from the SWIFT system, and that's going to be beautiful. It's really going to stop what's going on. You know, talking about what's going on, there is going to be no blitz here. I think a lot of people anticipated Russia would take Ukraine extremely rapidly. No, this is going to be long. It's going to be drawn out. Ukraine, it's already gone. Okay, uh, what you're seeing now is just all theater, but it must be drawn out probably for a number of weeks here. I wouldn't be surprised to see this go on past the Federal Reserve FOMC meeting that's coming up in just a few weeks here. The central banks, again, are aligning themselves. They already knew this was going to happen. Um, so, again, they are making sure all the pawns are in place moving forward. So with that said, there will be no blitz. This is going to be drawn out. There's going to be, uh, oh, we're going to have talks about this and talks about that. Oh, the Russian army has been slowed down here and the Russian army has been slowed down there. It's all theater to draw this out. Again, every crisis must be milked for everything it can possibly be milked for, okay? Crisis to crisis to crisis. And the longer a crisis can last, well, the more cash can be pulled from the future, borrowed into existence. That's all this is, a, a means to an end, allowing central banks, none more so than the, the biggest crime syndicate on the face of the earth, the Federal Reserve, to continue to inflate. So with that said, like I said uh, earlier, um, with the certain number, the certain mysterious number of banks that are going to be cut off, <laughs> Russian banks, I'm laughing, shouldn't be laughing again, Greg, um, you can expect higher commodity prices, higher energy prices, uh, and again, we are really in the early stages, in my view, of uh, a global energy crisis, of course, fully engineered, you know, you notice the word crisis, okay, crisis, 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 you can expect much, much more. What are we going to do, you and me? I have a few more things I want to talk about. Well, we're not going to change a damn thing. We're going to remain steadfast on how we're taking advantage of the situation. We're going to bet against the debt, become our own central banks. We realize central banks are going to continue to inflate on an, on an unbelievable scale. Rates will remain lower for longer. I am not saying we're not going to get a rate hike. We're still going to get one. We are still going to get a rate hike next month. People, how do I put this to you? Hmm. If we do not get a rate hike, even a fractional one next month, the market's going to hate it. The market is going to hate it. The market wants action from the Fed. Henceforth, why you are going to see the 10-year yield settle above 2% um, period the end. Uh, it's just, it's just going to happen. I don't think I'm wrong on this. I don't think so. Rate hike is coming. Anyway, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. I'm being, I'm being honest with you. Um, anyway, what was I leading up to? So keep your eyes on that 10-year yield. That's, that's a big one. Keep your eyes on the MMRI relative the, the, the risk in this market. Again, it's, uh, we're still in the yellow. We're nowhere near a critical point. And remember this too, people. Moderate risk, low risk does not mean no risk. <clears throat> you already know that, excuse me. But look, we got this down. You and I have been so far ahead of the curve, it's frankly scary. It really, really is. And let people get afraid because you and I are going to take advantage of that. Um, whether you're buying the dips, if you have the ability to do so, or you're remaining long. Stay long the market. Get long Russia, Ukraine. I've been telling you this from for a long time right now. Kind of just like get long COVID. You know, everyone was expecting the crash to come, you know. And we had a few people out here. Oh, yeah, this is it. Duh. We're really going to crash this time. And guess what? They were wrong again. Hey, I told you to get long COVID. It was an amazing call. And uh, we're going to get long Ukraine, Russia as well. As long as the debt market remains stable, nothing changes for you and me. Nothing. Again, you got people focused on the stock market. Oh, 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 what, this is it. It's over. <laughs> really? Where are you getting that from? Honestly, where? Understanding that the stock market is a derivative. The stock market is a derivative as to what is going on in the debt market, people. You know that. 
So if the debt market remains what it is, and you haven't seen anything yet with regard to criminal central banks, they're going to use this crisis to continue to inflate. It's a no-brainer. It's a zero-brainer. In fact, you don't even need one brain cell, not one, to realize where we are going. Okay, the market is going much higher, much higher. So just get ready for that. Again, what is the fallout from that? A much, much weaker dollar in absolute terms. The dollar strength fiat currencies around the world are in a race to the bottom, period. Okay, inflation is going to continue to surge beyond your wildest dreams. Oh, and you're going to hear all the talk from the Fed, even from the Fed chair himself. Oh, we're very concerned. We are very concerned about inflation. We are going to take action. We're going to taper. How about no? You're not going to taper because there's never been one. Uh, oh, yeah, we're going to aggressively raise rates moving forward. How about they're not going to do that either? Oh, yeah, we're going to unwind our balance sheet because we think that's the right thing to do. Bullshit. Bullshit. Okay? All of it is a lie. It's a distraction. It's propaganda. And you all know that. But, but again, that's what they're going to tell you. That's going to be the stories. Anyway, I, I, I really believe that you understand where we are at with this current freak show in mind. I was just writing some stuff down here on my little ASPCA notepad. Anyway, uh, I feel bad for animals. I really, really do, people. All right, so look, let's, let's summarize this real quick. Um, oh, one more thing. We had a pretty epic stock market rally on Friday, and we had a 1,000-point swing off the low Thursday, uh, like a 2,000-point move off the low from Thursday in the Dow. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm laughing again. Okay, no surprise to you. I explained to you how this would play out. I said when bullets started to fly, you would see a big sell-off, which we did, and we would see a sharp recovery. Personally, I didn't expect it to rebound that fast, but that's what we got. We also got, apparently, uh, a little bit of an escalation here. Uh, you know, Vladimir over there. The Vladimir Poo Poo. Uh, whatever his freaking name is over there. Just another puppet in the, on the global stage. Anyway. Oh, yeah, he's putting his nuclear arsenal on alert. Now, the market may not like hearing that. And I'm not saying this is going to happen. But if you put this, let's put this together. We got a nearly 2,000 point gain in the Dow off Thursday's low. Okay, pretty epic. Uh, then now we got a possible escalation here of, you know, with, with, with the rhetoric word, rhetoric war. I don't know. Market might not like that. And we'll see what happens tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised to see the market fall a little bit, give a little bit back. But, but who knows? In this freak show, I, I have no idea. There's been an unbelievable amount of institutional buying. And of course, that includes the Federal Reserve. That's buying the market. So just real quick, in summary here. So we have what appears to be some action, because it's a certain number of banks, certain number of them, duh, uh, uh, Russian banks that are going to be you know, cut off from the SWIFT system, ain't going to matter. Uh, of course, there's, there's back doors, front doors, loopholes, dog shit, sideways doors. They're going to circumvent all this. But what you can expect, Sincerely, and this is, of course, you know, the way it's supposed to go anyway. Higher commodity prices, higher energy prices, and guess who's paying for it? You are! You! Yes, you! Imagine Greg Manorino shock. You, you know how surprised I am about all this. I, like, we didn't know this was coming. Everything we are seeing now, people, you and I, we knew this was coming already. Uh, I explained to you, uh, at the beginning of the year, the very beginning, you know, my top five trends... We were going to see increased volatility in the market. We were going to see much, much higher energy prices and uh, food. I didn't know the mechanism. Duh. Here it is. You know, look, it's not easy. It's not hard, I mean, to realize what's going to happen. The actual events themselves, you know, they're, they're difficult to pinpoint. But we know what's going to happen because the mechanism is so simple. They are de Central banks are determined to inflate. Central banks are determined, and this is all about central banks. It's not about world leaders, Vladimir Poo Poo. I gotta come up with a good name for him. Poo Poo shit. 
I don't know, Putin, Pushet, I, I don't know. He's, just like I said, he's a puppet on the world stage. They all are. Kings, queens, monarch, dictators, they are just, you know, there's just figureheads to lead the people along because they need, the people need someone to look up to on their pedestal because they're just so important. They're just, they're just like godlike figures. Yeah, anyway, make it up, people, make it up. I mean, come on. I think you get it here. Look, I, I think I'm going to stop talking right now. I think I've covered everything I needed, at least to, to get out here. Um, anyway, let's see how this plays out, people. I'm looking forward to it. Honestly, keep your eyes on that 10-year yield. Keep your eyes on the MMRI. You know that. Um, I did add on my website, traderschoice.net. You can see, again, the banks I'm looking at, the energy producing companies, uh, if you want to get in on that. Um, let's see. Let's see where this goes. And whatever happens, I know it's it's crazy. It really is. But you and I, well, <laughs> what can I tell you? We're just gonna we're gonna get through this like we have gotten through every freaking other thing because we know what's going on. We know what's happening. We know what they're gonna do before they do it. So crisis. This crisis is gonna go on longer. Okay, and then we're gonna get. Another one, because you see, the global system can't work without crisis to crisis to crisis, because the debt-based economic model must be fed. It's a monster. And without feeding it, well, this whole thing turns back into Mad Max. But the central banks, they are using it to their favor, and they're going to milk it for everything that they possibly can, because they're in full control. All right. Love you a lot. See you in the morning.